a cutting-edge 10 million rand aerobiology TB research facility built near Masipumalele under the auspices of the Desmond Tutu HIV Foundation will be dedicated to studying the transmission of TB among the 23,000 residents in the informal settlement. Opened by UCT Vice-Chancellor Professor Mamacheti Pakeng, the new building will house internationally renowned UCT researchers and scientists, as well as support staff. Their research forms part of a large-scale TB project in collaboration with UCT's Institute of Infectious Disease and Molecular Medicine. The venture is sponsored by the Desmond Tutu HIV Foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the South African Medical Research Council. This aerobiology TB research facility exemplifies who we are as a university. When we say we are inclusive, engaged and African, this is what we mean. Our research doesn't just happen in Rondebosch, it happens in the communities. But it happens here because that's the best way to explore the questions that are of importance to our society. And so we engage with the people and we appreciate the fact that they open to us and they talk to us about the disease that we want to understand. So this facility is unique in the world. It's an aerobiology um, facility linked to TB. And it's investigating the transmission of TB organisms. So what we specialize in here is capturing the organisms in the exhaled air from patients, putting it onto matrices, which we can then look at very carefully so that we can study each individual organism. And that is very sophisticated uh, uh, science. Uh, the concept is that we can use that in order to try and control tuberculosis transmission in communities such as Massapumaleli. Okay, my focus has been on transmission of airborne disease, which is tuberculosis. So one of the big factors that drives that is in fact the social economic conditions under which people live. Uh, so we, one of the things that we've done is we've measured the amount of air that individuals exchange with each other. And whereas I probably exchange about 25 litres a day, Children and adolescents in this community uh, swap about 300 litres per day. And just to put that into context, I believe that in places like Baltimore Prison, they're probably swapping 1,000 to 2,000 litres per day. And that increases the chances of disease being transmitted. So what we're doing in this setting is to actually measure the number of organisms in that air that is being exchanged. 